Welcome back to Back to the Future. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work on that intro. Alright, so last we left off, Doc is in the past, or was it the future, and he needs help, and we have to go save him. So let's see, where's my inventory? The next step is we have this shoe. This is the only clue we have. Well, besides the uh, tape recorder, but that's not really gonna help us anyway. So let's take the shoe and take it to the one person that can help us with it. Aini! No, what? Nah. I'm not putting the shoe on the car! Marty! What do you know about this shoe, Aini? Are you fucking serious? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Oh my lord. That's Doc's line! Well, he already said it actually, didn't he? <laughs> oh, Marty, breaking the law one car okay, at a time. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Kind of. How is this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? I don't know. Let's go to the video store and find out. Or, the, or that's an arcade. Never mind. I guess there's time for a quick game. <laughs> he actually goes. I didn't realize he actually went to the fucking arcade. I don't think this does anything. I think he just goes in and just plays in the arcade. <laughs> Fuck Doc. I got the high score on Pac-Man. Okay, now I'm ready. Well then. Okay, well I guess I did that. I wonder if that would have given me an achievement if I was playing this on Steam. Because I got this off a uh, GOG. Well. I ah. see you sneaking into that liquor store, young man! <laughs> oh, I hate random old ladies with megaphones yelling at me for walking into a liquor store. What? <laughs> Oh, the best part is she's the person we have to see. Let's just buzz. Yep, it's Strickland, everybody's favorite. Step away no from the door. Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Something runs in the family. I don't know I'm what sorry, it is, on. but something runs in the just family. I suspected hooligans. Get along now. Scat. Yeah, it's something you'll notice. If you've watched Back to the Future, the this old lady likes to say hooligans the same way that Mr. Strickland likes to say slackers. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm no hooligan! How dare you! I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. My family is born and bred whippersnappers all the way. Don't mock my heritage. Okay, two things. One, where the fuck are you gonna look up a fact like that? And two, what the fuck are you doing just staring out the window all the goddamn time that you have that shit memorized to the half hour? Oh my Stay god. Stay your business, child! You're making me miss Merv! Who the well, fuck is Merv? See, that's the thing. I'm is it an 80s sure thing? Because I don't know. Uh, Einstein here brought me, and... Well? Well? Uh, we'll find out who she is anyway, so I'll just skip ahead to this. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Uh, if only I could flip her off. <laughs> if only. Let's just show her the fucking shoe. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Hey, this actually raises another question. If you lost, like, a shoe, like, let's say 20 years ago, and would you keep the other shoe in the off chance that one day somebody will bring the, the missing Leave one back? Like, outside. like, we're gonna find out how old that shoe really Sorry, is Einstein. in a while, but, like, who the hell keeps on to their old, sh to one shoe in the hopes that they'll find the other one, even if it's, even if, like, the first shoe is, like, already broken? I don't know. I mean, if it weren't for that, then the story wouldn't have gotten anywhere. But... Well, took you long enough. Ugh. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Oh mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. 
No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. <laughs> I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Where do you look this up? You never turned the stove on! Uh, have a seat, Sonny. It's so neat and orderly. She probably hasn't paid her, like, utility bills in hey, decades. Oh, God. You kids! Put out those cigarettes! Okay, well, I kind of agree with that, but I'm not going to yell at some kid with a megaphone over it. Uh, let's look at these newspapers, huh? Don't touch those! Touch them. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Jam? Lady! D all right, back to the fucking... All right, I think I have to talk to her. She's gives, she gives us information. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? I don't know if she's, like, seeing them, like, kissing or, like... Dealing crack or what, but whatever. When did you lose your shoe? Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Hi, huh. what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh. Yes, I remember. I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. The day that Speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the Speak day it was founded. Faster, I want to give commentary. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Illegal speakeasy. Cool. Fuck the wow, law. A speakeasy. That must have been wild. Oh my god. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Yeah, don't be a 90s kid. was a time when gangsters ruled the town well. Honest citizens quaked in their beds. Okay, it's kind of hard to rom to not romanticize the past when you put it that way, because that sounds fucking awesome. Uh, where was that speakeasy? So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. <coughs> yeah, student of history, my aunt. Fanny. Yeah, <laughs> Even if she can smell the bullshit. Hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! <laughs> huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down following year, as I recall. Okay, two things. One, I love her train of thought going from like, you hooligans. Oh, video store! I know that! And also, if we're assuming that the speakeasy burned down around Prohibition era, which was like around 1920s or 30s, why the fuck did, was there video stores back in the day? I thought video stores would have like existed maybe in the 70s starting? Cause that's when, isn't that when videotapes came out? I don't know when video started. I'm, that's just my curiosity, uh, asking that. Uh, where was the speakeasy? What's with all the newspapers? What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Can you tell me about a, uh, a certain casino that was built on top of the courthouse? Can you tell me about that? Huh? Huh? Could those newspapers help me? I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Probably. Naturally! 
Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. I can. I, I bet your uh, motto was fair out. and balanced. Well, obviously, the day after the speakeasy burned down. <laughs> all right. Well, now we've gotten all the information we could out of her. I don't know. I don't think I need to talk about the binoculars, but you know what? I'll talk about them. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. No. Is that? Jim, <sighs> Jim. Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! Tiff Tannen? Who is the mother? Can I just ask who the mother is? Alright, exit. Don't let me keep you from your business. Oh, Lord. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Oh, Lord. Alright, so now we're gonna do a couple of things here. First, I'm going to... Well, the next step that we gotta do is find the newspaper. But, all I know is that there is a newspaper about the speakeasy burning down, so I don't know when it was. So I have to search through these stacks, but I can search through them because this lady's gonna stop me. So, we need to make sure that her tea boils so she goes away. Except that she didn't turn the fucking oven on and I can't go in the kitchen. So I'll do the next best thing. Lie! Man, she keeps it hot in here. the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Yeah, I'm just skipping through like some of the deduction portions of this because I already know the solution to this puzzle, but this is about as far as I know the solutions to. Alright, so we got a little bit of time here. Let's go through the newspapers and search through the stuff. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. Yeah, any fan of Back to the Future is going to have a lot of fun going through the newspapers here. Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. All right, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. What, what else is there, I think? Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. October 28, 1985. Authorities still mystified by Maul's shootout. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Let's see. Do I have time to do the thing? Yes, I do. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars okay, for a second? Okay, never fucking oh, mind. Dear. Wait, what? Oh. I did have... Oh, I guess I didn't need to have her out of the room to use the binoculars. Okay, I'm stupid. <laughs> she like, w like warped into the room a split second. I hope I caught that on camera. Rebuilt in February 1932. There we go. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Ew. Alright, well we have a year and a month, so that's pretty much narrowed it down to a good portion. Let's just quickly do this again, and just fucking go through the newspapers. And after this, and after this, I'm going to be Surely on the my water's own. Boiling by now. Show me the water's boiling. Hopefully, you've forgotten that you still haven't turned the oven on, haven't you? Or right, let's see. Let's see. There we go. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob? What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let no! me. No! You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Oh, boy. 
I'm very happy I don't have to see her again. Hey, dress up. He cleans up nice. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we have the Mr. Fusion version of this and not the fucking Marty. Nuclear reactor. Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? What answer can I give him? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing Grapes of Wrath. Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Don't say um, the grapes. Uh, don't say the grapes. Never mind. Okay. You don't have to explain. I'm sure uh, whatever. I'd say it is like Marty to, would you know be the one. It's like, oh, I'm playing. Right? Uh, I hope grapes. so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. Hopefully. You might just endanger your own existence. Again. You ready to go, Einstein? Time travel. Why are you so finicky and also so awesome? Alright, well now we have the fucking date. So let's turn the time, time switch circuits. on. Ah, time circuits. Time circuits. Capacitor. Stupid. Uh, Fluxy. Fluxy. Input the date. Okay. If Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Why do you give yourself, like, one day of time? Give yourself a week! A week! You're so stupid. But I don't care because there's a cutscene. When it loads. There we go. It was a loading screen specifically for that cutscene, and now we get the actual game. <coughs> oh boy. Man, I love this game. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Oh, the good old days. If you ignore, like, all the bad parts of history. I never thought that. Oh my god, this music. I know this game came out like five years beforehand before this, but God, this is making me think of Bioshock Infinite, something fierce. Uh, another game I should get around to playing sometime. With, oh, with another great story. Ooh, she looks familiar. Young man, excuse me, young man. Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... 
<laughs> I know, Doc. There's been some sort of mistake. I'm a su Hmm. What the fuck do I say? I'm a supporter! You can mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Do I have a message? Uh... No. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> That's the spirit. Destroy them with indifference. If we refuse to patronize their establishments and glorify their wicked exploits, they'll soon be exposed for the pathetic wretches they are. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Uh, okay. Michael Corleo! <laughs> Harry Callahan, Sonic... Oh my god, they're all such great... Here we go. Michael Corleone. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Corleone. Edna Strickland, <laughs> Hill Valley Herald. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before! What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times! It's the law! Look it up! <laughs> Doc, okay, that you could Doc. probably look up. Not like hooligans or bitches or whatever the fuck she was talking about before. While walking, hold down your right mask to make Marty run. Oh, that's probably useful. Wait, what? I'm... I'm... what? I'm walking and I'm holding the right mask button down. Wait. Oh, it's if I'm dragging it. That's stupid. Ugh, whatever. Oh boy. So now we're in the fucking past, in the fucking Prohibition era, and god, these buildings look really fucking old. Alright, so... Next time on Back to the Future, we're gonna find Doc, figure out what the fuck's going on, break him out of prison, and solve this whole mystery that there isn't yet, because we haven't talked to people that much. If we talked to Edna Strickland, she could probably help us, if she likes us, which, for the moment she likes us, she doesn't hate us yet. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> I'm just rambling. See you next time, and I hope you enjoy this game as much as I am, because god, I love it.